Welcome back to more Ponderian. So last time uh, we had two back to back embarrassing defeats against the uh, which stage was it? Was it the Foul Shrine? And now our record stands as uh, we beat the Golem Fortress. We have not beaten the Goblin Caves or the Foul Shrine. And it kind of sucks. I I mean, I need to break the this chain somehow. Something needs to give. We're going to go back to the Foul Shrine because I think this is the faster of the two. And let's see if we can just get the clear. Let's kick it off. The biggest thing I got to remember is like, there are lots of things to keep in mind. It makes the game just a little bit harder. Okay, this kills. Cleared in one turn. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to grab... Do I need the heart now? I think the big thing is upgrades. And I think I don't get enough hearts. <laughs> it may be worthwhile to like focus a bit more on picking up the hearts, given that I am pretty weak. I also think that a lot of my struggle comes from having too many options on the field. I want to skip the rest of this one. Like, I'm starting to notice that each dungeon kind of trains you for certain things. The Golem dungeon trains you to, like, be careful of your cantrips and use them wisely. This dungeon trains you to be very careful about who you kill and when. So... I'm going to follow the advice it has lovingly given us. Or me. And the goblin one teaches you that shields are valuable. <laughs> I actually do think it's really, really neat the way that they do training in this game. Um, just gotta be a little careful with how you do things. Okay, I actually need to use king this way. Oh, I didn't expect... Uh, I didn't think that it was going to explode. I totally forgot that's a thing. I think we just move up and we hope for some queens. <laughs> All right, we got a plus queen. I can work with plus queen. Done and done. Okay, what do we got? Shields are nice. Shields are actually really nice for this. Um, we'll do shield. We'll do... I have so many mixed feelings on pawns. I'm going to skip again. Or I'm going to not use all my money again. My issue with pawns is enemies like to get right in front of you, uh, which makes them very difficult to deal with. Okay, you're nimble, you're brawler. Brawler is fairly easy to take care of. Nimble is really annoying. Okay, killed you. Killed you. We're clear. Your champion, you are you. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Shields up. Uh, come here. Oh, because I use a cantrip. Jeez. All right, we retreat. <laughs> You're going to move in front, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So, not super useful for us. I go over. I cantrip. Then I zap out. You split into multiples when you die, so I come into you. I go. That's a lot of damage from Blight that I take there. I think I just stand. Okay, this is how we do it. <laughs> and then I come back and kill them. <laughs> There's some neat little moves that you can do here. Okay. You know, I think I'm just going to do the same thing again. Grab the health and kind of just peace out. 
I'd like the cantrips, but I don't think it's super important. I think I'm relying too much on the mechanics at times, which is good for some things, but like at the same time, not always that great. Um, I can get the kill on you and then I can zoom my way back out or no, that's not going to be useful. We zoom our way out. Hit and run tactics, y'all. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I only have enough for one move, so if I can only get one kill, we should get the kill that keeps us safe. All right. This is a little awkward, but I am going to come down here. I don't like this. But I kind of don't have a choice in the matter. This one's a bit slow, but it's kind of all we can do. Unfortunately. Um. You have void pole, you don't have void pole. So I'm going to go up here. Our queen will take this kill. And then. I guess I just hop over and take the one blight damage. I had to shield up, so it's good. Ooh. I can't kill it. I don't think. If I push it, to, yeah, I can't kill it this turn. Need to fall back. I can kill this this turn, though. All right, made it through. All right, shields. Shields are good. We want shields. Um, I don't need more health. I do, however, think the cantrip is entirely worth it. All right, what are we looking at? I mean, we're looking at a lot of stuff. Some ugly stuff, too. Trip there. Kill you with the cantrip. Okay, that gave us a queen. I can come and kill you all. And then I have another queen to work with. So I think I come up here and we'll see if I get another pawn. We're lucky. I didn't. You just make one every time you move. That's fine. We'll just peace out. Okay. Get the kill here. That moves us. Uh, we don't have another move, so we'll just move to safety. Okay, three of these. I think we do it this way. So one. Two. Three. And we're good to go. That took a bit of thinking on my part. Um, ooh. That's... That kind of sucks. We'll see what we get. One. Uh, we got horse. We can roll again, though. We got pawn. Nice. Pawn was a lucky roll there. <laughs> All right, floor six. We've taken virtually no upgrades this whole time, and it's actually worked out okay. Okay, next up. Now, I do think it's worth it to take some upgrades. I want to get the cantrip. Cantrips are crazy powerful. Everything in this game is so well balanced. <laughs> um, okay, I want to get something, but I'll hold it. I don't think those upgrades are the ones I'm looking for.
every time I come into these stages, I look and it's like, oh man, you know, it'd be so useful. X, Y, or Z. And I'm like, I don't have X, Y, or Z though. So unfortunately, it's not as useful as I think. Do I roll here? Ooh, right. Cantrip activates after. That's a little unfortunate. We can cantrip with queen into you. Oh, I couldn't move. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's back out. I got to I got focus again. All right, we have we have kills here. Okay, this doesn't cost a cantrip. This will kill one. If I go the other direction, it will kill two. Okay, let me think about this. So I don't have... All right, if I use queen, I can attack here and this will kill this one and push you back. And then I can just step back one. Who is attacking that, that tile? It's just those two. So this gives me... Wait, they have Void Grasp as well, and I forgot it's diagonal. This is why I die. Literally, this is the whole reason I keep dying. I don't have additional heals either. Like, I get one health at the end of this, so I need to, you know, do my best to not take damage as much as possible. But I'm doing a poor job of that. Okay. So we come into this enemy, which pushes them once. And then I go across to this enemy, which spawns the world. And I kind of regret it now. Uh, but then we pawn into you. Then I have a bishop. Um. I'm not sure what to do. I think I go into this and void. Yeah, this will void pull me. And now I take one shield damage. So that's good. Shields disappear at the start of turn. Something important to note. I move up once with the pawn. That's two kills. And then I move once more with uh, the rook. And my shield protects me. So this is all good still. Now, now I have questions. <laughs> okay, I move here. Cool. I come over to this tile. I attack with the queen. Then I attack with the rook. And we get the kill. And we're good. Okay. Ooh. Shields look nice about now, but I need heart. I think we grab all the shields. Yeah, we grab all the shields. All right. We have lots of defense. This should be safer than usual. But everything blights multiple times. There's so much blight on the ground. Okay, wait. So let's talk through these steps, right? So I can pawn onto here, kill this, kill this, and it would pull me. So I'd be standing here next. And then I can kill this, which will pull me up here, which would be pretty safe. Right? So I do one, two, safe. Excellent. I have four left. So, I don't have a safe move, so we're going to take Rook to here. We get a shield. Now I have a free queen. Every attack will hurt me from here. So I take this. I'll take this one. Right? That does one damage to me. Now I need to kill another one, so I will take... If I take this one, I could end my turn after. And I'd be pretty I'd be safe. 
Okay, we did get another queen. This has one blight damage and one shield. If I come over here, I'd be pulled down into the damage zone. Yeah. I think what we do is I can come... I won't take additional damage, so there's no real need to use this. And I only have one more action left. Alternate, I could move here and then hit this. I'll only be hit once, and I will have the shield. So that kills another one. That would be coming down to this tile with the queen, which will attack on the diagonal. I'll be pulled to this tile. And the only thing that can hurt me... Sorry, I'll take one damage from this move. But I'll be down to three afterwards. That's worth it. All right. Now. Okay, we take this movement here. Now we have a queen with a recharge. Um, I think we can trip to this. I'll pull us down one more. So we can trip to this one, which will pull us diagonally one more. Right? We go over to this tile, and I'll take one damage from Blight this turn. Alright. We're looking good. It's a bit slower, but it's safer. Okay. We have a queen. We take the kill with the queen. We can take the kill with the rook. All right. Now we just have to beat the boss. So I move over one here and then one more. And we did it. Hey, look at that. It just took like some really dedicated focus. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to deal with the gauntlet pillars. Uh, we spent 30 turns on that time. We took four damage. We shielded 16, killed 45 monsters. I really like this summary on the side. But hey, we did it. We actually finished one. <laughs> took a couple of tries to like figure out how that works, but hey, we're good. All right. I mean, in that case, um, that will be the end of this episode for you two. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, will come back and see more because we still have one more dungeon for the Pawn Varian. And then the whole game is wide open when we have to go through all the characters. So hopefully I'll see you then. Later, all.